Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Kennedy, the photographer at Ring Light Roof. And it could happen. That's right. It's possible. It could happen. It's within the realm of possibilities. Likely possibilities? Maybe not. But possibilities? Yes. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, if you've been watching you, my videos in the last several, you know I'm talking about the Canios 1DX Part 2. You know that uh, in a lot of videos, I've had the description over here for the Amazon, excuse me, Amazon.com wishlist, where one of the items is the Canios 1DX Part 2. And the, in my last video, previous to this video, I talked about the, what it would be like where I had a dream or a wish that when I went to the post office today, that there was would be a Canon EOS 1DX Mark II in the mailbox ready for me to unbox and examine and look at and use and review and talk about in depth. Because the release date is technically tomorrow, but since tomorrow's a Sunday, probably not until Monday. But, with that in mind, there have been unboxing videos and the such in different countries. I've seen them on YouTube, they've, they've I've seen what I assume is German, French, um, probably Russian, I don't know. I don't, I don't know all the languages, obviously. Um, probably Japanese, Chinese, different languages, I mean, I don't know all the symbols, so, um, different languages have them unboxing videos. Now, they're not very long. They're like a minute. One was like 40 seconds. One was like a minute and a half. Trust me, <laughs> if, if I get one DX to my mail day, it will be a very long video. Uh, or at least, if it's not a very long video, it'll be, it'll be, there could be a lot of them. Because I've wanted this camera for a long time. But, with the amount of videos I've put out there, and the fact that I put the description to the Amazon.com wish list here and in the video description to this video and all of my videos on this channel for some time now. Um, it is theoretically possible that somebody, whether it be Canon or some other third party that I don't know, has gone out, either spent the money or got another edition from someone else in Canon to send me a camera or a camera and some extra stuff or some, some extra some lenses and there's, there's several lenses I've asked for uh, basically the 23 uh, the 23 the 28 300 is the main lens then second would be the um, 200 to 400 with the 1.4 times stock converter for sports and wildlife but basically sports um the uh, fisheye, and of course the one to five times macro lens. So those are the four basic lenses. And a 28 or 24 to 70, 2.8 might be a good fifth lens um, for doing, doing you know headshots, doing headshots like this, except doing it over there. And if I could do it over there, if I had one DXMark two or one DXMark two, I could do it in 4K, which would be a drastic jump in resolution. Make these videos a lot clearer, a lot more vibrant. Because I'm doing this video right now with my iSight camera, which is 720p. So going from 720, skipping over 1080, and then going to uh, 4K would be awesome. Now you're asking yourself, if you're looking at this bottom, you're saying, but this video is in 1080p. Well, this video that you're watching right now, this is 720p. What I do when I export it to iMovie, uh, it's still in 720p. But I have the option of exporting in 1080p. And what that gives me the ability to do, because I could, I could do it in 720p, export it, and it would be a smaller file. But the reason I export it in the 1080p is because the picture at the the picture in the video, the introduction video, excuse me, the pictures in the introduction videos 
uh, look better in 1080p. And part of it, uh, part of that looks better and is better in 1080p. Plus, if I do, if I use, take pictures and import them during the video, they look a lot better in 1080p than they would in 720. So the introduction videos at the beginning that look better. Um, and when I, if I use a, if I take a still picture and import it to iMovie through part of this video, that picture looks a lot better in 1080p as compared to 720p. So while the majority of this video is in 720p and it's exported in 1080p, there are parts of the video that, that 1080p, uh, I mean, it's, it's worth doing, even though the majority of the video is 720p. So there are parts that take advantage of that 1080p and it looks better. Again, even though the majority of the video is 720p, it really doesn't help it any. So the parts that are, you know, I, I want to make the best I can. And <clears throat> while it would be easier to do it in 720p, and it would take a little, it would take less uh, computer space. That's why I export it with p So with that in mind, got a little off track there. <coughs> My point is, get back to the story. It is possible that the camera could show up today. I could go to the mailbox. There'd be a package. And it'd be a big package. So it's possible. Again, not in the realm of... What's the possibility? I, I'm going to say it's very low. The, the realistic possibility. But it's not impossible. So there is that possibility. Second, if the good Lord wants me to have this camera as bad as I want it. <laughs> if the good Lord wanted me to have this one tenth the amount I wanted it, I'd have it. Okay? Or I will have it. Um so whether it's from Canon or some outside donor or I don't, you know, people I don't know, or somebody I don't know, or somebody I do know. Um, if they want, if they donate it, and well, trust me, if whoever donates it, if that comes to be, a donation comes to be, trust me, if they want their name out there, I'm going to be making so many videos um, about the camera if I got it. Um, their name would be out there if, if they wanted it out there. If it was a company or a corporation or they wanted to advertise some website or some book or something they're selling or, you know, whatever. Or some company they work for or whatever the case may be. Um, trust me, I'd be getting that name out there at least in my videos. Um, so, I'm still hoping, still praying. If... I don't get it today or next week. Uh, I'm still hopeful. Um, it would be awesome. What would be awesome is to get it in the mail before it's released to the general public, which is tomorrow or more likely Monday because it's tomorrow's first day is a Sunday. Um, it would be awesome to have the camera before the release. So that I can do an unboxing, do the first one in English, and uh, you know, just be able to start reviewing it and doing stuff with it, and using it would be awesome. So that's my hope, and it is possible. Again, how likely? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to. <clears throat> I'm not going to waste my time or your time with trying to do the odds or figure out even the way to figure out the odds, but. <clears throat> it's possible. I hope it happens. It's one of those situations where you hope for the best, you pray for the best, but you can be prepared for the worst. So, and the worst in this case is I don't get something for free. So, all things considered, it could be a lot worse. So, besides, if I don't have it, if I don't get it, it's, I don't have anything less than I have now, so... 
But it would be nice, and it is a possibility. It's not impossible. It can happen. It could happen. So with that in mind, I want to end this video by saying thanks for watching, have a good day, and may God bless you. And no matter what kind of camera you have, keep taking those pictures. Bye. You always end my videos, man.